one day on the island of Sodor, from last episode, Bert has finally got out. Come on, Diesel, I'll try to push you out. Ugh. We've got to get out of here. Before those engines come back. Hey, what? Let's bring over here these trucks, shall we? Uh, remember what happened last time, Diesel 10? Yeah, I do. But let's do it anyways. Alright. And I puffed away. All the engines were having a great time and were talking and having fun. Hey, look, said Thomas. The diesels actually got out. Wow, said Murdoch. I can't believe they actually got out of those trucks. I wonder up there I wonder what they're up to now. Come on, Bert. Go faster. I see a little engine up there. Hey, what engine are you? Um um I'm Mavis. Who are you? We're Burton Diesel. Looks like you're friends of those engines. Get her! Ah! Please, let me go! Tell us where your friends went, Mavis. Yeah, tell us, agreed Bert. I will not tell you where they are. They're better than you, rusty old diesels. Oh, you say that again, see what happens. Guys, I think Mavis is in trouble. We better go save her. Come on, guys, everyone gather up! What's going on here? said all three engines. Oh, we're just about to blow up your little friend. No! Murdoch? Murdoch had tried to pull Diesel 10 away, but it was just too strong, so he couldn't. So did Kevin. Kevin and Stanley tried to pull it, but they couldn't do much. Neither could these three engines. They didn't even want to try, because they knew they couldn't, so they went another way. All the engines helped, and all the engines tried to pull the Diesel 10 away. They started to, but it was too late. Mavis was gone. They were too late. Mavis was already gone. Then Thomas had an idea. Hey, maybe if we can get Diesel and Oh, don't even start with Diesel, said Kevin. We don't need to get in more trouble like we already did. We've already lost Mavis. It doesn't matter. We're just losing people now. We've got to show those Diesel a lesson. What do you think we did last time? Don't worry, Kevin. It'll work this time. Guys, I got a good idea. Let's pretend who wants to be the sacrifice here. They won't actually die, but they will be in the thing. I'll do it, said James. Perfect. And James puffed along. Everyone move out of the way. That way James can do his stunt. The engines pretended that James got stuck in there. So they were going to let the Diesels find out, and then they would get trapped themselves. Thomas, Stanley, and Percy, and Murdoch, and Kevin were all waiting for the signal. All James had to do now was yell. Help, help, I'm stuck! Hey, looks like the red engine got stuck. Let's go get him. Let's go, let's go get him. That worked. It had worked. The Diesels really thought that James was stuck. Let's go, guys! The engines hooked up to Diesel and all the cars. Thomas started to pull Diesel away, and Murdoch started to pull him away. Soon enough, James was back on the road. See, Ruffy had pushed Bert right into the middle. Hey! And then he backed up. The reason this worked is because there was a little bump, and he went forward. Thomas pushed Diesel into there with Bert, and he also put this in. Bert had derailed. The engines had helped cover up it, so they pushed their trucks right against Bert. Hey! Now the diesels will learn their lesson again.